Operation Save G7 had commenced operations before the official launch by the FCT police. The commissioner, while launching the task force, said it was important for the catchment area, hence the need for its existence. He also urged the FCT residents not to worry when the drills start, as modalities have been put in place to ensure that there is no collateral damage. The minister of FCT and the six other state governors contagious to the FCT decided to form this G7 in order to stem the tide of all this kidnapping and banditry. So we are also in embarments which are slightly characterized by slight increase in crime and criminality. So we have been proactive in order to you know, uh, get rid of these criminals. That is why we are launching this operation G7. My message to the uh, community, they should cooperate with the officers and men. They should give us actionable and timely intelligence. And when the operation lasts, they should not panic. We are in charge. The residents were also advised not to spread fake news, but also verify information before giving it out. Of course, in the era of uh, social media now, where you see people post what is not things that have happened in the past, and they take them for uh, current happenings, people must disabuse themselves from some of these things. There are clear, evident places where you can speak. In the era of the security, this police you tell you what to do as far as the internal security is concerned. And so if there is anything, seek clarification from there. Not that you just post anything. And so I want people to allay their fears that with what is happening now, nobody should take undue advantage to post what is wrong to social media. Meanwhile, the task force has arrested a terror suspect and rescued a victim at Leda Yebu Ward of Kwali Area Council of Abuja. Operation Save G7 is hoping that the citizens will cooperate with it to enable success in the task of securing the states around the FCT as well as the FCT itself.